How you doing guys? We're going to take the first look at uh, Cinema Grade uh, by Grading Control Central. Uh, I've got it here loaded on uh, Final Cut Pro 10 and the Cinema Grade applied to all the clips. So we're going to go ahead and open it up from in the inspector and uh, first thing you notice it actually uses the full viewer for uh, color correction and grading. And in fact, you can just go to full screen, which is great. It's a lot to me. It's a lot easier to grade if you can actually see the uh, picture full screen. We're going to go through the different tabs. Here's the base color correction, shot matching. Once you get certain shots graded, you can match them to others. And then the final grading could be LUTs and other things. Um, so I'm going to take you over some of the basic controls. Um, you got some here at the top the sides and the bottom. Here at the bottom you can go through your different clips. Um, the left side is for, uh, here it says color management and um, this is great if you have cameras, certain cameras um, that use LUTs, or excuse me, they use log footage and um, my camera is not really covered. Uh, I can't have a Canon C100. Uh, this is all these shots are uh, in uh, Canon C100 log grade, by the way. I couldn't find one that will match with the C300, even some of the other ones. So I'm just going to do it by hand as far as the log footage display. Uh, the best dis uh, display, in fact, I think it. Uh, we're just going to use a computer screen. Now, keep in mind, they're probably going to add some more uh, log footage camera support as time goes on, more than likely. Um, color charts, if you happen to have a color chart, only two supported right now. x right color checker, passport video, and then just the uh, color checker video. And I happen to have the uh, passport video. Unfortunately, I didn't have any shots in it currently that's using the chart. But uh, just to show you, you can resize it inside the chart. Makes uh, color correction uh, much faster. But for most of these, we're not going to use this, uh, the left-hand side. Right hand side is where some of your basic controls or in, in, in you could call it a little mini inspector uh, right here. And in fact, uh, you can also tab these open. Uh, and as you can see, as we drag it, the uh, controls or these windows stay open. Just to show you these tops and if you're a basic beginner, you can cycle through exposure, contrast and some of the color. Uh, versions and just to show you you can just click on one and by clicking and dragging up and down and for instance exposure and look on the right hand side it uh, just controls your basic overall exposure for highlights midtones and shadows and uh, pretty much the same with the rest of them just usually controls one one slider here's contrast um, color temperature for could be uh, cool and warm for uh, winter scenes and maybe summer, for example. Um, saturation, your vividness of the colors or uh, saturation, how you want to say it. And then you have adjustments for hue, luma, and saturation as well. I'm not really going to cover that in the uh, video. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and reset this, these to the uh, basic defaults. Um, first, I'm going to do a, a quick color correction just to show you uh, because we're actually going to match shots later on and we're just going to select this one right here. Now I'm not going to really use these basic controls uh, and since I'm not using a LUT to control um, log footage we're going to do it by hand. I couldn't find one that really matches the camera that I was happy with and I'm used to my log footage and usually the shadows I have to uh, definitely lower and as well as raise some of the highlights. And um, we're going to uh, add a little bit of con uh, contrast and maybe raise a little bit of saturation. Okay, I'm fairly happy with that for right now as it is. Uh, just to uh, move on to show you something like shot matching. Now here, once you grade your primary shot and uh, you can color code it using these colors on the left, we're just going to use yellow. And uh, usually if whatever shot you want to apply to the other ones, they consider it the hero shot, I guess, or your main shot you're going to match. And then you simply select the other ones you want to match it to once you do your color, basic color uh, correction. In this case, we're going to select uh, this one right here. 
And then upper right hand side, we're going to um, match shots. And then here it's, it gives a side, side to side comparison, which um, uh, I like as well. And it also, this one happens to have scopes on it. Unfortunately, the uh, base correction doesn't have it. I'm guessing the, the premise is once you eyeball it, uh, your base correction, then you use the scopes to, um, I guess, um, zero it in, so to say, so to speak. Um, now, if you look down here, um, the vector scope here, you have the source, and then you uh, on the right you have a, a target, and then what it's going to attempt to do is match it, and then it should, I believe it turns it all yellow. I don't know my basic coloring, but anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and uh, up to, uh, to the upper right hand side, copy correction from the one we just graded to our shot that we want to match, and then here it's similar to other editors, we can transfer some of the um, basic um, editing or color correction here we're going to simply select all of it uh, and click apply and it's fairly close um, and here you can see it actually matches it uh, you can see if uh, once the color uh, goes into the full area if it's matched or not according to this it is I think it needs to be tweaked um, for instance um, it is a little bit darker shot so I can go in there in the controls and uh, darken it a little bit. Um, in fact, I can probably lower this down a little bit, maybe, or even the overall exposure uh, to make it, you know, tweak it to your liking, uh, for instance. And uh, of course, you can do that with all your shots, and then you move back and do your other shots and color code them as well into groups. Once you get all that done uh, to the final grading, and then you can uh, apply LUTs and looks. They have some basic ones here. And some of them they have grouped uh, as far as looks, uh, as far as color, genre, um, you know, could be comedy, thriller, action thriller, whatever, location, uh, mood, uh, and time of day. Uh, makes it a little easier to figure out what you're wanting. And then LUTs just gives you the basic LUTs that you may or may not uh, have installed on here. And this is kind of unique here at Looks Transfer. You can actually find this already graded and you can match to it. In this case, we were using um, from Transformers and we're going to try to transfer that look over to my own shot. Now keep in mind, I, they said it was experimental and you probably may need to tweak it afterward. And this is really the, the most extreme case because it's very dark and uh, I believe the uh, teal orange, which is uh, a lot of movies is known for. And it's really probably too much for this shot. As you can see, it's really dark. You could still apply that look, but I'd probably do it way more conservatively. In fact, I probably wouldn't do it more than to right there and then you click to accept. So it's a great way you can match film looks from different uh, movies and TV series or whatever, if you happen to like the grade, you can just uh, put the uh, picture in there and match it. So a uh, great way of doing that as well. I think that's well done. And um, this, and uh, also you can, uh, here up on the upper right hand side, you can um, bypass all the effects just to see the before and after. You're going to do this in anywhere from the base corrections um, and so forth. Um, of course, which every you know every editor should have like this, especially color correction, uh, to see if that's what you're going for with the base correction, and then you simply uh, click to apply to your selected grades, and we're just going to continue on. And I don't know if that applied all of it. Okay, I guess it's already applied just like so and then and uh, that's one of the looks that I applied right there as well um, overall I think at first I thought the uh, this was a uh, rather a little bit too simplistic but then again I think that's what it was designed for beginners and all in order you can use these simple controls at the top or more in depth using the uh, right hand controls as well full frame viewer I think that's an excellent idea it makes it a lot easier to grade and see what you're grading and um, the learning curve on this is much faster than any other color correction as well. Um, 
And I think I did this in about maybe 40, 45 minutes. To find, and I couldn't find the scopes at first, but the, you only get them in one section. Um, of course, this is not necessarily going to replace, um, you know, a lot of the color correction tools and all the video editors. But I, I think in certain situations, this would be great, uh, especially if you're on, on, on a timetable. Uh, it could be a TV series, web series. You got to get it out in a hurry. I think this would be a great addition to that, um, and I think it's well done. And I like the idea of viewer-based grading. Uh, of course, this is uh, Cinema Grade from Grading Control Central, and thank you for watching.